scarlet blaze. The Triumph of Valor. To rescue Count Burglies, Edelgard seizes the Great Bridge of Murden, forcing Count Gloucester's surrender. With no time to lose, she then presses on, unbowed. But Claude is not one to be caught off guard. He rallies every resource at his disposal, determined to tighten the noose around Burglies' forces and prevent any rescue. So we've lost Gloucester. Unavoidable, perhaps, but it still stings all the same. Fortunately, I haven't been sitting on my hands this whole time. If we smash the Imperial reinforcements and stop them from breaking the siege, Count Burglies will have no choice but to give up. We're going to face that challenge, and we're going to face it with the Alliance's latest and greatest, which is why I've asked all of you here. Did you really just say latest and greatest with a straight face? Oh, he said it all right. And while I can't swear we'll have that, we do at least have numbers on our side. Yep! More than half of the old Golden Deer House is here! Some of us may not be quite as great as you say, but... Well, you know best. I'm grateful to each of you for answering the call. It's more than I can say for some of our classmates. Yeah. Ignatz and Lawrence both sided with the enemy. No. About that, it pains me to say this, but how Cerdelia has made its allegiance to the Empire clear. It was against my parents' protests that I came here in the first place. If this battle doesn't unfold the way you're hoping, I may be forced to leave as quickly as I arrived. That's okay, Lysithia. You're not the only one who's here with strings attached. Yes. My adoptive father has also insisted I return home at once should the tides turn against us. Sounds about right. Three cheers for that good old Alliance solidarity. I'll fight with you to the end, Claude! Uh, unless it puts Maya in danger. Then I'm out. Look, what matters is that you're all here, and that we settle this war with the next battle. Also, for full disclosure, I may have sort of brought along some extra professional muscle. Come on in. It's good to meet you. I'm the acting captain of Gerald's Mercenaries. Our guest here is fresh off another battle with the Empire on Kingdom soil. From what I gather, remaining in the Kingdom was no longer an option. And that's when our paths crossed here in Alliance territory. Oh, hello! I know Reliable when I see it, and you are definitely that. I'll do whatever you ask as long as I'm getting paid. So long as we're allied, I won't fail you. All right, let's begin our council. As you've no doubt heard from our scouts, the path from here to Deirdre will be fraught with difficulties. The Alliance has constructed fortalices and palisades, and laid other traps to slow our progress. In addition, they are plotting ambushes at key positions along the way. Needless to say, we will not be able to avail ourselves of the direct route. But if we try to dance around all their traps, we'll never make it in time. Yes, but this is Count Burglies we're talking about. He could probably stretch his soldiers a few extra days through sheer force of will. I would normally write off such an idea as lunacy. But sadly, it will likely come to that. We have made attempts to smuggle provisions to Count Burglies through holes in the enemy lines. But this has met with little success. They must be so hungry! I know just how that feels. The struggle to get food when all you want to do is hide under your covers. Hello, old friend. I mean, no offense, but if time is truly so short, why do we waste it dithering in council? We should embark on our rescue mission straight away. What? Yeah, what are we waiting for? We're their only hope. I agree. Less talking, more saving. Calm down, all of you. Such rash action is exactly what Claude is counting on. So we must take the safe route, but do so as quickly as possible. A best of both worlds situation, I suppose. Understood. Good. With that decided, let's move on and discuss our preferred formation. Huh? <laughs> 
What's... Oh, it's a dream. Why do you always settle for such simple reasoning? You know this is more than a fabrication of your sleep-addled mind. Our first reunion in who knows how long, and you try to write me off as a figment of your imagination? Hmm. Sorry about that, though I was definitely asleep last I checked. Anyway, what do you want? To warn you, something is troubling me, eating away at me actually. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I can sense a presence closing in on you. A dangerous one. The Ashen Demon, right? This wouldn't be your first warning about that one. Hmm, that might be it. Perhaps the two of you will square off in battle soon. Good, because this time I'm gonna win. I have to. Fortunately, I'm pretty used to these powers of yours by now. Then I'll let myself stay just a tiny bit optimistic. Just don't forget that your opponent has had as much time to grow as you. Your future isn't the only one at stake here. The demon could also put an end to Edelgard's vision with as little as one swing of a sword. Whatever happens, we can't let all our hard work be undone. Since when have you been such a warrior? I've got this, trust me. I won't let anything happen, not to Edelgard or to the others. What do you mean? I'm always worried about you. After all, you're my... Yeah, yeah, I'm your partner in destiny. <laughs> I finally got you to say it! <sighs> How wonderful! I knew Count Berkeley's was formidable, but I clearly did not give the man enough credit. I thought for certain he would have fallen by now, and yet here we are. If we're handing out credit, Claude deserves some as well. Maintaining a siege for this long takes its own toll on morale. Yet his troops remain disciplined, well-positioned, and ready to engage us. One advantage to a siege is mobility. They can deploy soldiers up and down the line as needed to keep the upper hand. In other words, they are outfitted with many highly mobile units, which means they can respond quickly to enemy reinforcements as well. If we rush in blindly and are driven back, it would likely break our allies' spirits for good. Not even Count Burglies would be able to rally them again. Surrender would be the only option. <sighs> Why are they wavering now when we're so close? We're not looking to win the war today, we just have to break the siege. We should attack their lines at multiple positions. We don't need to win the battle, we just need them to break formation long enough for the Count and his troops to get out of there. Well, this is new. You are not often one to give voice to your opinions on tactics. Still, you have struck the proverbial nail on the head. It is exactly how we must proceed. Then it's decided. I look forward to your exploits on the battlefield. Today, we free our Imperial allies and reward their continued valor in the face of impossible odds. Surrender before reinforcements arrive. Well, you all know what to do. Engage the enemy.
I'm itching to show what my muscles can do. Now, who wants to be first? There's no time for the delicate approach. Let's tear into him from all sides. There can be no victory this day if we do not rescue both Burglies and his troops. Wait, that's Raphael. Don't kill him, please. Let me talk to him first. This is rough. My body's crying out for a break. I stand with my friends and will not permit you to pass. You don't have to do this, Raphael. Think about Maya. She needs you, remember? Hey, don't fail! But... All right. I'm in. Only because it's you. Are negotiations with Margrave Edmund still ongoing? Perhaps we can win Marianne over to our side. Her Majesty comes to rescue us. I know your My spirits turn. are weary, but we kindle them now with whatever spark of hope remains in your soul. Split! About time! Talks with Margrave Edmund will go much better if you surrender here. Will you not consider it? You're right. My adoptive father would want me to lay down my arms, not my life. We have broken through! Continue pushing! to hold this line, so why don't you just leave and we'll call it a day. We must secure an exit for our allies. Taking down those strongholds will drive a wedge into their siege. There are two strongholds. We must deploy our forces with cleverness to be taken fall. Not when everyone's counting on me! All right, here they come. But I came here to fight, and I won't back down! Get out of there, Hilda! We can't lose you! Yeah, all right, sorry! <laughs> I can stop fight! Our allies are nearly within reach. Clear out the enemy soldiers in those drops. Our Sordelia has already offered us their allegiance. She must lie so nice of her own accord. Please, stand down, Lysithia. There's no reason for us to fight. I don't remember asking your opinion. I heard about what was done to you, Leslie. And as one who understands that intimacy, I ask you to join my cause. Do you too? Yes. All right. I'll hear you out. You asked for it. Target their strongholds and crush their reinforcements! They've got catapults! We have to stop them! I got this! Now, if they'll just be kind enough to let us escape this way... Out of my way! 
Watch this! The siege is broken, men! Your courage and perseverance have been rewarded! The siege is coming apart at the seams! Deploy the reinforcements! Fill those gaps! Trying to shore up areas where we've thinned their ranks. Don't let that happen. About time. The way is fight. open. Huh? Move as one and defend the Count and his soldiers as we go. You think I'm just gonna let you slink out of here? Watch this. Take a breather. I'm already two steps ahead. Looks like you're up. Let's cut off our escape. Oh no. Look who's with them. We won't put a dent in Gerald's company with the numbers he has. I vote we rush Claude's main position instead. It will indeed catch him by surprise. But do you think from the left or right? I'll take him. Okay. Either way, let's choose a path and clear out anyone foolish enough to stand before us. Well, that was a delight. Maybe we can stop and rest for a few here? Take a breather. I am your man. You're wide open. Push through. We must reach Count Hartley's. Well met, my son. For the first time in my life, I thought my hands had come from me. Yeah, I've never seen you in such bad shape. You look half dead. It surprises me to see you among the ranks of my rescuers. Do not be having the wrong idea. I am helping the Empire, not you. My turn. Very well. We attack from that direction. My turn. Her Majesty blazes the trail. Charge! His retreat is looking more and more like a full-on assault. Stay with him, everyone! Hold on. Are they coming for us? Rangel, and by my honor, you will go no further. I can stand this no longer. I'm falling back. They make for the east. I can't let them escape. Take over. You came for me personally, Your Majesty. You can thank me once we're clear of this place. Now ready your troops for retreat. <laughs> we're nearly clear of the battlefield. Just one more push and... Oh no! It won't do to have you slip our grasp now. <laughs> 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 
mission seems clever of Claw to keep this little surprise for the moment it would matter most. I'll handle the mercenary. The rest of you press on. Don't stop, no matter what. You never get a better crack at the Alliance's leadership, Your Majesty. Hit them with all you have. Leave nothing on the battlefield. Take them! Count is keeping the Ashen Demon busy, which means now is our chance to strike at Claw. The battle's lost if they've made it this far. But maybe I can still take out an officer or two. Enemy down! You are truly a force for reckoning. I am your man! My work here is unfinished. Watch this! I can't hold this monster back forever! Forget the demon! And take out the commander! Can't you just play nice until I achieve what I set out to do? Funny. I was gonna ask you that. But I'm guessing the answer's the same for both of us. They've got me cornered. Better think fast. That's all I can take. Let's see if our new mercenary friend is worth all that My gold. Turn. So let's take whatever time we need and do this right. Such vexing arrogance for one so small. Perhaps you truly are one of their descendants. In any event, you labored to destroy my vessel, did you not? That is a deed most foul. One you will pay for with your life! You cannot hope to win so bound in flesh. Pitiful. This isn't a fight you can win. Get out of there! You can run all you like. Why do you... fight me? <laughs> Why so this? I'm sorry, Claude. They were too much for us. It's all right, Hilda. Well, it's not, but I knew this was a possible outcome. I was hoping the terrain might let us hold, but against that many soldiers deployed that skillfully, it just wasn't enough. You sound sad. It's a little weird. Can you blame me? Look at how many people have died because I decided to fight this war. <sighs> Maybe I should have just let the Empire have their way. My father and the others never would have accepted that. You had to throw everything you had at the enemy at least once, or they'd think you were a coward forever. Wow, Hilda. I didn't think you'd picked up on all of that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Too bad everything I had still wasn't enough. Well, the next step is to put our heads together and figure out what to do next. I hope you don't mind if I lean on you and that brother of yours for support. Lester's roundtable is overdue for some big changes. Again, your majesty. You've got my deepest thanks for rescuing us. And since my lack of foresight's to blame, let me apologize again for what happened. I will not hear of it, Count Berglees. Had any but you been in command, I would be collecting corpses right now instead of thanks. I failed to see what Duke Regan and Count Gloucester were plotting. The blame is mine alone. 
so I will hear no more self-reproach from you. Go now, and rest those weary bones. I'm grateful for the kindness, Your Majesty. Honestly, this experience shook me more than you might realize. I never would have made it through without the brave men and women who served me. They're the ones who deserve your praise. Understood. I will see they are duly rewarded. Hubert, summon Monica and have that put in writing as an official decree. And now, I want to know how we are faring with our efforts in the kingdom. I thought we won. As did I. Who knew the Ashen Demon had that kind of strength? Not that I'm making excuses. You gave me power of my own, and it still wasn't close to enough. That's not true. Of course it is. What am I even up against here? It's like I looked away for one second, and suddenly I was facing someone else entirely. Hmm. That would explain what was troubling me before. That is the unique danger I sensed. Still, you can win this fight. I know you can. And I'll do whatever I can to make it so. We'll claim victory over that monster together. You know what? You're right. I'll be strong enough one day if I just keep at it. Still, one day could be years from now at this rate. We should probably think of a backup plan. And hey, the Ashen Demon's a mercenary, right? Might be best for the Empire to toss some coin their way and put the rivalry behind us. You want to hire that thing? Seriously? Fighting side by side with the Ashen Demon? Are you mad? You make it sound like the worst idea in the world. We have a war to win here, remember? Gotta keep an open mind. Ah, uh, I understand now. You've witnessed your adversary's true strength and convinced yourself you cannot win. What? No. I just know a valuable resource when I see one. And we're far better off with them than we are against them. If that's really how you feel, then so be it. But trust me, you don't need to worry. You'll get stronger soon, I promise. So maybe don't go relinquishing your prey just yet. After all, I desire nothing more than to see you achieve your goals. A glove does not defy the hand, and yet you've done just that. So this is my name, yet I am also called The Beginning. I am progenitor and mother to all who call Fodlin home. Where am I? I am not here to answer all you ask, yet I will grant the one. You stand before my throne. If you so wish, then take a seat. But know then that your flesh is mine to wield. You lack the power to resist. My flesh? What are you saying? You should not have interfered! I could have cut that wretch down with a stroke! Oh, that one vexes me so. When next we meet, I must step in and deal with them myself. It is quite clear that you cannot my power safely wield. Do I speak plain? Not in the slightest. I have so many questions. Hey, lazy bones. <laughs> Get up already. You sure you're all right? You don't seem like yourself. I'm fine. Just a strange dream. Like the ones you used to have. Yes, but this time we talked. Huh? You fool! That was no dream! <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Wait, didn't you... Do you lack wits? My voice is not for him. Whenever I speak, it is for you alone. On second thought, I think there is something wrong. I mean, my hair's still a different color, right? Yes, and your eyes, too. How that happened is beyond me. 
Anyway, we lost the battle, so probably best to wave this place goodbye and find somewhere to rest up. Is that a fact? Actually, I think I'd feel more comfortable staying here on the battlefield a while longer. I just need to swing my sword around and get my head on straight. Don't worry, I'll be fine. If you say so, but if it gets any worse, tell me. Hubert, if you would. Of course, Your Majesty. Let me apprise you all as to what is going on. As you know, our Talons have been sunk in our little alliance problem for some time now. But now we must deal with the Kingdom, which has sent an army to claim the heads of Count Roe and any others who came over to our side. However, Roe is seated at Aryan Road, the fortress city. A citadel as hard to crack as Fort Mercius. Ah, Aryan Road. The Silver Maiden. Seems sort of weird to call a big hulking place like that a maiden. That's because she's as hard to get near as the purest of maidens. If you're still confused, that's your own problem. Yeah, I still don't get it. Our reports indicate that despite the strength of the Kingdom's army, they are still struggling to take the fortress city. But, given enough time, they will. Unless we send reinforcements. Therefore, we must direct our attention to the Kingdom once more. Will this constant bouncing between the Kingdom and Alliance not take its toll on our soldiers? Who said we were taking our entire force? We will depart for Garrig Malk with elite troops, then collect fresh units before proceeding west. Simultaneously, I plan to have Duke Garrett summon the Western Lord soldiers and march toward the fortress city. We will join up at that point and strike at the Kingdom's main force together. What say you to that? I would say it is the ideal strategy, at least on paper. Okay, let's keep our optimism in check here. I mean, speaking from personal experience, nothing ever turns out the way you want it to. Should we be having concern? If the plan is good, we will find success. And the Alliance? They may attempt another one of their schemes while we're distracted. They will not. Her Majesty is taking a measured approach to resolving matters with Lester. Count Burgley's is worn as thin as they are. We will have him set up camp at the Great Bridge and continue negotiations from there. To our advantage, Gloucester's new Count Lawrence has decided to join the Empire. Additionally, the daughters of Houses Ordelia and Edmund have been given leave to fight by our side. Besides, from what I hear, the Round Table is too busy chewing itself apart to start any more trouble. That leaves only the Knights of Saros to contend with. The Minister of Religious Affairs will handle them. My father? But he's not capable of facing the Knights! I let the Ashen Demon outmaneuver me in the last battle. That won't happen again.